In this tutorial, we want to look at how to make our images or photos pop a bit. In case we went on holidays and we want to work on our photos, we'll be looking at color correction, how to sharpen our images and how to put some brightness and contrast in our images. I'm using GIMP and then the version I'm using is GIMP uh, 2.10.22 okay so uh, imagine i have this photo here what i see in this photo is the photo is ve looks very nice but in case you want to um put some more color so i'm going to show you how to correct color a bit depending on your taste so first i will I'll select this by going to the layer here all these are the same these are also the same and these are all the same now i uh, here i want what i want to do is to uh, look at um the hue saturation so i'll go to color or first uh, maybe i look at the color balance but since it's the first when we go to color and we look at color balance so it will help you to adjust colors a bit when you open the dialog box you get something like that and then you see that it says the length reach to adjust now there we have the shadows the mid tones and the high highlights the shadows uh, more or less concentrates on the bottom of the picture or shadows more or less so since um is uh, uh, shadows are cast at the bottom more or less it's not totally at the bottom but more or less here and then in the middle mid mid tones is more or less in the middle and the highlights is more or less at the background so let's check this out in this picture actually you can look you can adjust this and it affects these are the areas that it will affect when you do anything now i think i wouldn't adjust anything to make it more red because it already has some th red the magenta uh, the green now nah, i wouldn't put any green or magenta in this so you just play around with it you know um yellow i wouldn't put here but i would maybe put a bit of um, little bits of blue there now uh, after that you can go into the middle tone and see whether you would want to adjust something there with our picture here i mean this picture hasn't got much problems or hasn't got um not problems but i, I would it, it's not like i wouldn't um do much to it now this let's look at the uh the highlights that's the background this is just to show you how you can use the tool though so it has nothing to do with whether the picture had the, the picture though now here we we i would maybe maintain it and hmm, you see you don't it's not necessary you, you don't need to adjust anything much so if you you have this here and you can compare you can all you can also do a split i have the original here but it's going to do a split to see whether this this is the original whether this suits you one thing you can also do is that you can change the mode you can put some soft lights in it you can also uh, put um, hard lights you can put um, vivid lights you can the vivid lights in this one I wouldn't put because of the, this particular picture so I think this picture I will just put some soft light and if you think you are okay with it you just do okay and then this is what you get um, from the picture more or less now another way that you can also maybe correct colors a bit in your photograph is when i uh, sorry when you come here you have to go to the layer so i go to the la this layer here and then what i will do is that uh, i go to colors and then the next thing i wanted to do is the hues and saturation and then with the hue and saturation you can adjust um the the color that the hue or the color itself that you want to adjust so you can if you choose master it will be affecting almost all the colors you can play around with it and see 
um, what um, what you want actually you can also if there's too much you can if there's no light you can increase the lights a bit or if you think i want it a bit darker you can go back uh, uh, with it i will just um just go something like this and then with the saturation you can increase the saturation in case you want but with this picture i would say that i wouldn't want to do much to it really in the same lights also you have mode here that you can also put something like you can put an overlay in case this is what interests you with the picture that you want you can also put a uh, soft uh, light here now i'll put soft lights here so that you can um, see it with with respect to the other one so i put okay so you see these are the two and this is the original now another thing is when you take a picture and then you have some blur in it and then maybe you want to um, improve it a bit so unfortunately what is not there you cannot put there so if there is the, your picture was such a way that it had no there's no much data there it's impossible to improve it but sometimes it's possible so with this let's try to see we go to this and then to uh, improve it a bit to sharpen it a bit you can use a filter the these uh, what some filters one filter i'll talk about is this you go to enhance and then you go to high pass it is it's, so what it does is that it enhances fine details so when you come it's something like this and then with this more or less you would always need to change the mode here and then you can go a soft lights on you get something like that you can put a hard um, where is it a hard light on you it's a bit it reduces a bit you can also increase the contrasts a bit to the i mean you can the, the, you can go to the extreme but uh, as i increase it too much i think it looks too bad too fake so i would just put the contrast somewhere here you can also increase the standard deviation a bit and play around with the thing for 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 you you see if I, I go here it changes a bit um if you want it to do the, the standard deviation to increase but with this one i would say that i would maybe not um increase it so much i want to at least maintain the originality just to pop it up a bit so this and with the same um, and then um you can also say okay here you can also it's not necessary you have this you can do a split and see what you had in this whether you like and then you do okay another uh, uh, way you can also deal with blur is when let's go and i said uh, select this and then you go to the same filters enhance and then now you want that's a you want to sharpen the image so you want uh, um, this um uh, you, you you can use the sharpen or on sharpen mask and with this you you have you can adjust the radius the amount and the threshold and then at the same lights you can also uh, put some mode here so let's see here first of all you can always push this to the stream to see what you get you know when you put it to the stream then you know most of the tools then it tells you more or less what the tool does now i go here the amount uh let me move this here so you can see the amounts i wouldn't move it too high something like this so that it doesn't look like unnatural because then it's too correct okay so something like this would and then you can put some threshold let's see here. i mean when i put the threshold into it improves it a bit but i would just do something like this and then let's see here we, there we put some um let's put see whether we want to put some 
you can put some lights in if it's if that's what you want or if you want some more um, if you want it normal you can maintain it normal like this but for you to see the difference with this i like put some hard light oh let's let's see um, you can also put a soft light so that it's not too much so this was the original these are what you've worked on a bit now the next thing here i'll go here and then this image maybe what i want to do is to put some brightness and contrast in it a bit i mean the picture already looks good but let's see here i go to um colors and then i will do go to brightness and contrast and then when you go to brightness and contrast this dialog box pops up and then the, the most important thing you have to adjust is the contrast because you want to get some contrast so you, if you push it very up uh, it looks not good so somewhere like with this if i go down you see it's not i don't get contrast very well so you can increase it the contrast a bit and then you can also if you want to um, in case increase the brightness or you can bring it down a bit depending on how you want the image to look for this i will maintain it like this this as well you you can also put some kind of overlay or something like that on but i don't think we anyway if i put a soft light on it looks but i wouldn't bother myself i think it's overdoing it so i'll just do it maintain it as normal and then i'll just and then this is the difference so this is how you can make your image pop a bit in game thank you for watching if this helped you in any way please help me as well by subscribing to my channel or give me a like please thank you bye